Hello and welcome my Life Path Nines. My name's Jackie and my channel's Romney Tarot. Okay, Life Path Nines, as I said before, we're doing something completely different this year. Uh, we're doing Life Path Numbers, okay, not star signs. So this is the day he was born. So just a recap. So if he was born on the 9th, the 18th or the 27th of any month, it doesn't matter what month, you will be a Life Path Nine. There's two ways of doing this. Uh, some people add up the whole date of birth, the day, the month, the year. They do it that way. I prefer it this way. Uh, it just makes more sense to me. This is the second way of doing it. So it's the actual day you was born, all right? So it's your birthday. So the 9th, and of course we have the 18th, which is 8 and 1 is 9, and the 27th, 27th. so 7 and 2 is 9, okay? So that's how you get your life path number. Okay, so you're also um, ruled by Mars. All right, so this is the house of Mars. And uh, before I start, I just want to say, um, of course, if, um, if, if the reading doesn't connect with you at all, then don't worry about it. Just move on, wait for your next reading. So it's going to connect with some people and it's not going to connect with others. All right. So just keep that in mind. Don't take anything literally or too personally. Just uh, sort of move on to, as I say, your next reader or whatever. But we just see the energies that are going on here. So let's have a look at Mars. OK, so the number nine is the house of Mars. So here we're looking at pursuit. We're looking at lust, we're looking at sexual desire, um, how we go into battle, all right? So this is all about heated emotions, anger, passion, pain, you know, it covers all that sort of uh, stuff, all right? And uh, yeah, so let's get on with the reading. Let's just see what we the energies are. So I'm going to pull an oracle card for each number, but it all inter intertwines. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's you know, whatever resonates. So don't, you know, sort of be stuck on too much if your birthday's on the 27th, the 18th or the 9th. Just look at that number, life path nine overall, all right? But if it does resonate, you know, each column, then good. But it could, one of the others could resonate more than the one that you look at is actually your birthday, all right? So let's not waffle on and get on with the reading. So I'm going to pull some oracle cards. So the first card I'm going to pull for you is from the Wisdom Oracle. And this is for those of you born on the 9th. So what do we have for the 9th? And we might read a little bit about the card as well. Or at least one or two of them. So let's have a look. Right, number nine, what do we have for the ninth? For those of you born on the ninth. So from the Wisdom Oracle, we have a leg up. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> okay, number nine. So this is an helping hand, all right? Uh, an helping hand in some aspect of your life, all right? Having that sort of, or taking that step you know, up the ladder some way. So you're moving up the ladder here. Oh, cards peeling. Anyway, so let's have a look and see what that says. So from the Wisdom Oracle, a leg up. Let's have a look. Let's just see what it says about this card. I feel you're getting, obviously, a leg, leg up, you know, up the ladder somewhere, or you're moving up. You're getting help from somewhere for something, okay? So a leg up, let's have a look, change of wind, no, a leg up, so this is page 128, so let's have a look at 128, there we go, so let's read this card, so this is for you, um, a leg up, so essential meaning, receiving help, uh, delegating authority, Interdependence. Interdependence? Anyway, the Oracle's message here is you've come to the point where you're going it alone and no longer optimal. Where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. 
Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align you with who to align you with who can give you a leg up during the next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all these areas of your in all the areas of your life where you need a boost. Is it in focus? The trick is to accept the aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, what's that word mean? Commingle. Yeah, commingle. Miracles happen. Now is such a time. All right. So I'll just read the relationship message to this card. Relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you are for, there for them. This is a time to be vulnerable. This is a time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs and to ask them to be fulfilled. Trust. And ask them to be fulfilled. And then it says trust. You will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind though. Ask it. Ask it is given. Ask and it's given. The um okay so that's lovely so yeah don't be afraid to ask for an helping hand when it when you need it all right number nines don't be shy all right let's just have a look at the oracle card for 18 so those of you born on the 18th or generally for the life path nine all right so you know whatever one fits your situation so what do we have from the spirit animal for my 18s? Okay, 18s. What do we have? All right, I'm recording this uh, reading in February 2024. So, um, yeah, it doesn't have to be just for now can be whenever it's for you. Right, let's cut the cards. Right, your card for the 18th. Oh, we had this in the number seven. The uh, Life Path 7. So if you know anyone, just saying, if you know anyone born on the 7th, the 16th or the 25th, this could be, be of some significance. And it's also the number seven, six... Uh, Sorry, it's the number eight, six, seven, eight. So um, this is turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. So taking your time. Um, I'm getting a message here about not rushing into anything. Okay, my uh, life path nines, nines are born on the 18th. So take your time here about something. Maybe in the past you have rushed into things. You know, you've rushed, done things, you know, Things happen too quickly. So there's a need here to take your time. All right. Right, let's have a look. So I think I'm going to pull for the 27th. So those of you born on the 27th, I'm going to pull one from the quantum oracle. So let's have a look. The quantum oracle number. Those of you born on the 27th of any month. What do we have for the 27th? 27th. And I, I may mention if signs do come up in the reading, a, a particular sign is so strong or a couple of them, I will I will mention them. Okay, so let's have a look. Right, let's cut the cards. Oh, that one wanted to come out. Intention, taking steps. But let's just pull one. I'll take that out because it sort of wanted to come out that card. So taking steps. So definitely a leg up, taking steps. So you're climbing. So you're progressing here in some way. Okay, number nines. So there's some sort of progress. Right, let's have a look. Let's get another card. A loving woman. All right, so feminine energy here. So uh, maybe you're dealing with a loving woman that's helping you in some way, all right, helping you to um, to move forward in some way. Yeah, where should I put it? I'll put it like that. 
Okay, so you've got two cards, <laughs> which is nice. All right, so next we're going to pull some uh, tarot cards. So let's just have a look. So this is these these tarots are the Lucid Dream Tarot for beginners. So I like the artwork on these, and uh, I just felt drawn to uh, use these cards for this uh, session of readings. All right, so three cards have come over for you in the reverse, but we do have the Six of Wands upright all right it's a success we do have the hanged man all right so that's upright and we also have the devil reverse so breaking free from restrictions all right number nines so not really i'm breaking free as well from toxic behavior or toxic toxic habits in some way all right um so this is what this is what you've been thinking about as well for you to progress in your in your life, in your relationship, in your career, you know, in your work, in your job. You've needed to cut something out for it to be successful. All right. So you needed to get organized here in some way. OK, so let's have a look. Let's cut the cards and have a look. Let's see what we got, what we've got for number 18. So what cards have we got for number 18? So we have, this has been coming up, the Page of Swords has been coming up a lot in these readings for this month. So slow and steady wins, wins the race. Uh, don't be so quick to, um, I would say, to say, I want to say, say too much about yourself in general. In, oh, sorry. I'd say in a certain, you know, in a certain area of your life, don't tell people too much about yourself, especially when you meet someone. Take your time to get to know them you know to get to know them well first before you start talking about certain things all right let's have a look where that's going all right so we do have oh again the page of pentacles in reverse so the page of pentacles in reverse is not um don't be qu too quick to put i want to say put all your cards on the table put all your eggs in one basket don't be too quick learn from past lessons number 18s all right before you jump into something that's that's just what i'm feeling here with these cards and the five of wands all right so you feel conflicted about something all right and um i would say yeah don't let your ego i would say don't let your ego get the better of you okay don't uh can I say don't struggle too much with um I'd, I'd say with your feelings inside you know with how you're feeling inside there's like a little battle going on with inside you all right so um not really as I say putting your cards or cards on the table putting your eggs in all one basket don't don't be too quick to sort of um speak I'd say think before you speak all right uh maybe be be wary as well of broken promises you know sort of talking about things you you're, you're not capable of delivering in some way all right so that that's the sort of energy i'm picking up there all right let's have a 27 let's have a look we have the fall in reverse all right so don't be a fool, if, especially if you're stepping into a new relationship with someone 27, all right? Don't don't blow it. That's what I want to say for some of you, all right, for the masculine watching, all right? You also have the three of wands, all right? So we do have some sort of, is yeah, the three of wands, because we do have a waiting for something, something to arrive, something to come in. Or maybe you're seeing someone off here in some way. But let's have a look. And we also have the Five of Cups in reverse. So moving on from something, not making the same mistake, all right? So um, when something turns up, that's what I want to say with the Three of Wands. When, when someone, especially if someone's come into your life, uh, you meet someone, generally overall, take your time, all right? Don't uh, give away too much until you get to know someone, um, whether this is a friend or a, a, another connection, but with a connection. All right. You do have help here. Um, 
I would say you do have help here as well on this nine section with a leg up, especially with that uh with that um six six of wands, yeah. Guarantee so someone lifting you up in some way, all right. So you've got praise, you've got someone lifting you up, all right. Take time to think about um this uh, this person, whoever it is that you're with. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a, a work colleague, it could be a relationship, it could be somebody you've just met, anything like that. Just be careful of, uh, I mean, think about past, I'd say, sort of releasing something from the past here with that devil in reverse. So you, you are recovering from past disappointments here, all right? You're letting go of something, you're not being... Uh, you're leaving something behind, something that was toxic, something that, that was abusive, something that was addictive, all right? So that could be a substance, it could be a drink, it could be a person, anything like that, all right? So take your time. Uh, uh, don't sort of um, rush into anything, especially when it comes to what you say and what you've got to offer, all right? Make sure, I'd say, especially if it does involve a relationship, that you're uh, clear about who you're putting your trust in all right don't um don't sort of be too conflicted within yourself as well about uh being sort of pulled pulled in two minds because you can make a lot of um what can i say you can say a lot you know your plans uh what you want to do your promises and that but you've got to be able to deliver on this as well all right so you know just hold back a little bit take your time all right you are stepping up here in some way all right if you have uh for the, for the feminine watching as well uh maybe you are this this loving woman and you are taking steps making progress here in some way especially when it comes to do with your career or work or whatever it is that you're interested in all right so we're waiting for something to come in we're letting go of um letting go of disappointments from the past with that five of cups all right we're not dwelling on the past we don't want to dwell or dwell on the past we want to move forward okay my number nines so let's just pull a card as this reading is recorded now in february um and we've had valentine's haven't we so i'm going to pull a love message from the romance angels and wherever that love is for you, you know, whether it's from someone you've just met, someone you're going to meet, uh, whether it's from a family member, a friend, an animal, you know, wherever that love is for you. Let's just have a look at this message and see where we go. Right. So you've had a couple of oh, quite a few cards come out here for you. So we've got retreat, we've got flirt and we've got new love. I did feel this for some of you, this a new love. So this could be of a person, it could be of a new idea, love of an idea you have, a love of a career, you know, an hob, an hobby, a profession, anything like that. So wherever that new love is, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So you've met someone and uh, you've got this retreat card as well and you've got the flirt card. So a lot of um, extend your your light-hearted energy to others all right so maybe a bit of flirting going retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so maybe get to know this person as i said take your time get to know this person sort of uh, spend some time alone with you per with this person maybe something you haven't been able to do uh, too much maybe because you've been too busy or too wrapped up in other things so really take your time to get to know someone because uh yeah because it seems here that you are interested in something in your situation here. All right, then number nine. So that's what I have for you. I'll leave that there with you. I hope it resonated with some of you in some way. And uh, as I always say, whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever your situation is, I do wish you all the best of luck. And I'll be back soon with another reading. So please take care. Good luck. Bye.